Hey everyone, it's Carlos from the CI team and I'm here today to go over six tips on how to make an awesome two second lean video. So tip number one is to make sure that you're using the correct app on the phone. Now the reason I say that is because on all the department phones on the home screen we have the Cinema FV5 Lite app and it's important to use that one instead of the default camera app on the phone because Cinema FV5 Lite connects to the Bluetooth microphone and the default camera app doesn't. So that's the reason why a lot of videos can sometimes have very quiet audio, maybe sometimes no audio at all. So please use the correct app when you're recording your video. Step number two is to actually make sure that the microphone is connected properly to the phone to avoid all that mess of having to re-record later. So I recorded separately how to check on the phone that the Bluetooth microphone is connected properly and working and I'm gonna to cut to that right now. All right, so I'm gonna go over how to make sure that the Bluetooth microphone is connected to the department phone. So on here, I'm going to turn on the Bluetooth microphone, get the red light flashing on there, letting you know that it's on, and now I'm gonna swipe from the top twice. Now Bluetooth is currently off, so let's turn that on. And right away you can see that it connected to the Hey Mic. Plus on the microphone, it's a flashing blue light. Now, when you go into Cinema FV5 Lite and open it up, you're also gonna get this icon here and that shows you that you're connected properly to the Bluetooth microphone. So hopefully after watching that, you have a better understanding of how to make sure the Bluetooth mic is connected properly. Number three is to make sure you're using the correct phone orientation. Now, I'm guilty of this too, where I've held my phone like this when I record something, and this is called portrait mode. Uh, we'll still be able to see your improvements and everything, but it's much better. You get a better quality product if you hold the phone in landscape mode sideways like this. You don't have the black bars on the side of the screen then, and it's easier for us to edit the videos, honestly, when it's in landscape mode. Number four is to make sure that your before and your after videos are completely separate. We've had videos in the past where it was just an after, and they explained how it looked in the before. Just explaining it doesn't really give you a good idea, and I'll show you an example. So upstairs in the training room, we have all of our CI supplies and tools all laid out in Kaizen foam, nice and neat and organized. But before, everything here was a huge mess. Now, even though I explained how it looked before, you don't really get the sense of how bad it actually was. So it's important to do the before video, give it to myself, Kevin, or Ronaldo. Then you can work on the improvements and then give us an after, and you'll be able to see side by side just such a difference it makes uh, on when you can see how bad it was before and it reminds you and makes you feel good about the change every time you watch the video. Number five is to list the correct wastes and well to list the waste at all in your after video. We've had a few videos where it was mentioned that the worker got rid of wasted time. Wasted time isn't one of the eight wastes. It is an outcome of all of the eight wastes but Try to stick to the eight ways when you're doing your after video to explain what you're getting rid of. And lastly, number six is to make sure you mention your name and your department. Now I know we have a lot of shy employees here that don't wanna be on camera. And if you have to hold the phone yourself with the microphone on and say, hi, my name is Carlos. I'm from the CI team and this is my improvement for today. That's fine. We don't need to see you. We would definitely like to. But the importance of saying your name and what department you're from lets us know where we can go on the plant floor to see the improvement for ourselves and to talk to you about it and really just see how happy you are in person for the changes that you made. So those are my six tips to an awesome two-second lean video. I hope you enjoyed watching this and I'll see you next time.